Hey everybody, Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP.com and Killer Sites, among other sites. I'm in a video blogging mood today, so we're going to vblog about LS Labs and Code Igniter. So I recently talked about the uh, demise of Code Igniter, I suppose, and somebody put a question to me. They were asking about if, since LS Labs has now stopped supporting uh, code igniter and in fact they were looking to sell it off so if we scroll down I'm at their website and you look back way back in 2013 07 09 Labs seeking new owner for code igniter and so that's the last post here now this is we're now 2014 in May so it gives you an idea where code igniter is going so since Ellis Labs has dropped it the guy was asking me what do you think is going to happen to the, the, the core code igniter libraries? Now, there are people who are still developing stuff, apparently, uh, some of the plugins for code igniter. Um, I'm not in touch with the code igniter community, so, you know, I'm only going from what I hear. Um, so they were asking me, what do you think is going to happen to the core framework as time goes by, as PHP develops and so on? Well, first of all, I think PHP is pretty stable at this point. And I would imagine that any apps that you build with Code Igniter over the next uh, couple of years will probably be fine, assuming that the core libraries are stable. I don't know. Um, I think they are. And uh, we still run, a, I think, one or two projects internally here uh, that are based on Code Igniter. At least one. But we're, we're moving... In the later stuff, we're moving to Laravel because we feel we feel it's a better framework, and I've discussed this in other um, in other videos. That being said, if you like Code Igniter, as I said before, then use Code Igniter. I've seen people use uh, Classic ASP, not ASP.NET. Classic ASP. This goes back to technology from the mid late 1990s. Um, people have developed really good apps with this antiquated. Uh, really primitive uh, web page technology, dynamic web page technology. It's not even close to what you can do with PHP and Ruby and Python these days. Not even in the same ballpark. But nonetheless, if you know how to write good code and clean code, you can still bring something to market. Now, I'm not saying you should use classic ASP. No, 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 no. But um, the point is that the lifespan of your Code Igniter projects no matter what anybody has to say about Code Igniter, will still be, uh, I'm sure it'll have a long life if you just write the apps properly. So at the end of the day, I think though that the code base in Code Igniter will uh, suffer because you're going to have a few diehards and there'll probably be scattered support for it over the next few years. But I've seen this play out over and over and over again. When a technology is... Um, you know, when, when the main community, especially the people who created it, uh, when they decide to move on to something else, that project will quickly fall into the niche. And so it's not something you want to be is as a web developer. You want to, you know, assuming you want to get the jobs, uh, you probably want to keep your eye on what's going on, you know, what's coming down the pike or pipe, no, pike, what's coming down the, the road and uh, get ahead of the game that way. So for me, I would suggest if you're actively uh, in development or you want to be a PHP developer, I'd be looking towards, uh, I think Laravel is the way to go. I'm not saying drop your code igniter right now, but you know, keep your, you know, keep your eye on that, uh, what's going on in the future and start slowly learning the new framework. And uh, I think uh, financially, at least, you're going to be in a much better position to do that. You don't want to find yourself coding uh, in the 90s, you know, when everybody else is in, in the 2000s, if you know what I mean. I've seen that as well. I've seen, I remember there was this language, I think it was it's called Delphi, and it was a very good language, and, uh, but it got trounced by, uh, I believe it was VB, uh, and... The Delphi guys, they were like, oh, Delphi is better than VB. 
And uh, then they found that they had no work because nobody wanted Delphi development, they wanted VB development. Uh, simply because if you think about it, if you're oh, somebody who's hiring a coder or a, or a developer or your business, you don't want to be using a technology that um, is falling out of favor because it's going to be harder and harder for you to maintain the apps that you build because there's going to be much less Delphi programmers f for you to find than VB programmers. So let's fast forward, you know, 20 years. Today, it's the same thing. You know, if I was looking to develop a new project, I would not be using Code Igniter simply because I know that it's it's fading and it's fading fast. And I want to sort of try to stick, you know, stick to what the current trend is. And, you know, right now that's Laravel. Anyway, that's my uh, two cents with regards to that. Um, see you next time.